Is that Chris? Hey, bro. A person can get times after times and chances after chances, but eventually, bro, they all going to catch up to you. And you got to sit on what you did. Now, I ain't going to lie. Like I told y'all, young boy was literally, in my opinion, one of the luckiest rappers, him and Kodak. And the people going to only give you so many chances before you blow it up yourself. And hopefully, he take this as a learning lesson. But I ain't going to lie. Whether he do the full 10 or not, this is not looking good for him. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bro. It's Lucas J here, y'all. Back here with another video, man. And today... Man, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about, man. It seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got somebody we ain't had in the classroom in a long time, y'all. We got NBA Youngboy on the roster. Yes, y'all, we got Mr. Never Broke Again on the roster, and it seems like right now he is expected to plead guilty in this federal case, and he's facing up to 10 years. Now, we're going to talk about it and break down the whole thing, but before we do real quick, just hit that like button, you feel me, and smash that bell so that you know you can be notified the time I drop a video, and I can also keep you updated on the situation. And also, go follow me on the ground, bro. Now, as I said, man, pretty much uh, we got NBA Youngboy on the roster. You know, y'all don't know uh, y'all favorite rappers. You know, the guy that, man, I ain't gonna lie, had a legendary run, bro, from 2017 all the way to like 2021 or two ish. You feel me? Seems like all that is starting to come to an end, man. Today has been reported that Youngboy, uh, man, I read the thing, Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy expected to enter a guilty plea in federal case. Now, if y'all don't know, um, Youngboy was arrested back in, I think, even, um, August, no, April 2024, like April 17th or whatever, when he got arrested in Utah for on drugs and weapon charges. You feel me? He been in he been in there since. You know, he been sentenced. But right now he's facing a federal case that he was still fighting. And you know, they pretty much finna kinda like throw the book at him. I'm not gonna say throw the book at him, but they finally finna get him and it seems like he expected to plead guilty. Now, if y'all don't know, pretty much uh, he got charged with a case back in 2020. He was shooting the music video on Baton Rouge and that's when they came in like I don't want to say swat them, but y'all remember when it was like him and multiple guys got arrested, like like 16 other people got arrested when they were shooting the music video. I don't know exactly what music video it was. I want to say something with Chopper City or something like that. I don't remember by heart, but it was a video where they had all the little green flags and they was riding around with guns and all that. And Youngboy wasn't supposed to have no weapon and he got caught and he's been fighting that case ever since. Now, like I said, they're expecting for him to plead guilty and he's facing up to the 10 years. Now, the article reads because academics reposted it and it says, Rap performer NBA Youngboy is attending to enter a guilty plea and have his federal weapon case transferred from Baton Rouge to Utah for further proceedings. Defense attorney Drew Fine and filed a necessary paperwork earlier this week on behalf of the rapper whose real name is Contrell Gordon. Gordon is charged with a count of possession of firearms by a convicted felon stemming from a 2020 music video in Baton Rouge. Police rounded up the rapper and more than a dozen others after receiving reports that the group was waving guns on Choctaw Drive. Feel me? Hope I said that right. Police alleged that Gardner was in possession of a 9mm handgun as well as a 45 caliber Glock. A second felony charge tied to the case for possessing a non registered firearm was dismissed in March. The rapper is considered a felon because of a 2016 bang out and is barred from possessing guns. Chief Judge Shelley Deck. I just agreed to delay the case as a higher court considered whether a convicted felon's Second Amendment right outweighs current laws prohibiting the felons from handling and possessing guns and ammunition. Attorney Fonda was not immediately available for comment when contacted Friday afternoon. Having the case moved to Utah is likely a convenience for the rapper and his legal team. He is facing a number of criminal charges in the Cache County and Weber County. I hope I said that right. I think I might have said it wrong. <laughs> Officials said the rapper and several others participated in a large-scale prescription drug for our ring and targeted several pharmacies across Utah. Gardner was in Utah after Judge Dick granted his request to live out of state while the Baton Rouge case played out. The next court date in Weber County is set for August 29th. The next court date is in whatever county is scheduled for September 23rd. Gardner must agree to continue with the guilty plea once the federal case is transferred to Utah or else it will be transferred back to the middle, of, middle district of Louisiana. Excuse me. The range of punishment for the charge is up to 10 years in prison fines in a period of supervised release. Now, as y'all see, um, it seems like, you know, he's trying to get that case sent to Utah and hoping he have a better chance of beating the case. Now, as y'all seen, you know, they said that, you know, he was already in there for um, some type of pharmacy fraud where, or some type of, of drug fraud in Utah where they was pretty much um, getting a whole, bunch of a whole bunch of pharmacies, excuse me, around Utah. So that's bad. And also he was in there off of drug possession or off of 
weapon possession, excuse me, I'm all tongue and twisted, but I will say, you know, this is not good. Only because not only were you fighting the case back in 2020 uh, for weapons or whatever, because you weren't supposed to be in possession of weapons, but also you get picked up again and you know, they trying to throw the book at you. Now I will be honest, if they let the people from Patton Ruiz pick up the case 10 times out of 10, they probably gonna fry him. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like he do got a better chance if he transferred up to Utah because it seems like they don't really be like throwing a book at him too bad, but I just know he's familiar with that area, the judge familiar with it. And they probably want to make an example out of young boy. Now, 10 years ain't bad. 10 years ain't life. But one thing about it, when you in there and no women, you don't get the best food. And you really can't make too much money like that. Of course, his stream is still going to make money, but he's not physically in there really getting nothing from it to a certain extent, you know. And nobody want to be locked up in the cage. He was already on house arrest, but not able to go nowhere. It was like he was in a jail, not literally, but like in his home. He couldn't go nowhere. He could eat whatever he wanted. He couldn't be there with more than, I think, like, three friends or something like that. Y'all remember the whole situation. He had a tough anyways, but, you know, um, hopefully, somehow, this case come out for the best. I'm hoping he don't have to do the whole 10 years, but at the end of the day, there's only so much a person can uh, keep getting warm before they have to learn. You feel what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, this will be a learning list to all the other rappers. And, you know, he should have just moved smarter when he was out. You feel me? Stay out the way. Stay low-key. Wait till everything die down, and then he could have been back out there and been a free man. But, you know... Um, they got it off him. He know that. They know that. And I ain't saying he's an angel. You feel me? Um, it's just crazy because, you know, he's not supposed to be in possession of a weapon or whatever. And granted, they was from the music video. But when you in your hometown, especially Baton Rouge, knowing you got people that would want to take his life, I don't get what he's supposed to do. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I understand when you out there um, doing what you're doing in your hometown. Either you know what? Kill or be killed. You feel me? So I don't, I don't blame him for wanting to protect yourself, you know? Me partially, you know, um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know, they say you'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. So the fact that he had to catch that case, it is what it is, bro. You feel me? I'd rather be, be in jail fighting for my freedom or fighting for my life versus somebody taking it. You know, it's just that simple. But definitely got to move smarter than that. And he was young around that time. So that makes it even worse because you were younger. You know, now he older. He should be a little more wiser. You know, a lot of things, you know, he got just for what he did back in the day you know but give me y'all thoughts and opinions bro and let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section man y'all already know who it is it's lucas j thank god for another day man y'all be safe i love y'all christ loves y'all so much more obviously and yeah bro i'm out man Oh, look at this. A little, little dance. Little dance routine. Yeah, that one might get yeah, it. Yeah, a little dance. A little one-half power thug. Oh, there, little, little Randy Boss. Little